start hi there welcome to java threading tutorial in this video we will learn two aspects first what are the different states of a thread and how to view states of a thread using java thread term so we have six different state in quick summary like uh, we have new state runnable state waiting state time waiting state block state terminated state so each state has its own meaning okay so let's start so this is a demo program a very simple program named thread state example which implement a runnable interface and override a run method okay so this run method is calling A method t1 which is running in an infinite loop now I have main program I create two thread t1 and t2 and give name thread 1 and thread 2 okay finally I am starting the thread so let's run this program so I can see my program is running now I will generate a thread dump. So to generate a thread dump, I need to know what is the process ID. So using the JPS program filed by the Java bin, it is available in JTK bin directory. And I will issue a quit okay so this will trigger a thread dump in the console where the java program is running so you can see a thread dump has been a thread dump is here now in this thread dump i have to locate thread 1 and thread 2 so you can see thread 1 this is the name of the thread thread 2 and thread 1 so we can see what is the state so both state are in the runnable state means they are running okay we'll stop this program we'll clear the console now add a weight here so weight will have a interrupt exception and if you don't give synchronized it will throw illegal monitor state exception now again run the same program okay now what we have to do let's find the process id so now let us see in which state both thread 1 and thread 2 are so this is thread 2 and it is in waiting state okay so all these object are same okay you can see all the object waiting locked waiting and locked are same and the state are in waiting state okay so they are waiting on the same object and they acquire lock on the same object okay so now we have covered the waiting state let's quit this program now instead of wait let put thread dot sleep let's say I want to wait for max value okay now again run this program get the process ID issue a thread dump 
so once you issue the threadm let's see what is printed in the console so in console we have to look for thread1 and thread2 okay so you can see thread2 gone to the block state and thread1 gone to the time waiting state so why it has gone to the block state so we have to analyze this like uh, it has locked the object 14828 thread1 has locked this object and went to a time waiting state on the other thread 2 thread 2 is waiting to lock okay so it has not able to lock the same object okay that's why it gone to the block state so it is waiting this thread thread 1 to release okay to means to release means to have a timeout okay now let's see how to get a deadlock so let's say you have a two object lock this is a very basic scenario we have two object okay so what is happening here is let's have some delay okay so what I have done is I am acquiring a lock in a chain okay so when thread 1 will run it will try to go to the monitor state in the below order object 1 then object 2 okay so when thread 2 will run It will have first object one lock then object okay so this is a basic difference I have done now let's run this program program is running generate a thread dump so you can see the thread dump has reported with one java level deadlock okay so thread 2 is waiting on lock monitor this ae88 and it is holding lock on this okay So if you go to the thread one, you can see both thread one and thread two go to the block state. Okay. So here you can see waiting to lock object thread two. If you refer here my thread two. So this is my this object and it is trying to get this one released okay thread one is locked on this and it is waiting to lock this okay so there is a clear difference between what is blocked and what is deadlock okay
so this is a very basic demo in which i have demonstrated how a thread go to the runnable state waiting state time waiting state block state so thanks for watching the video if you have any queries or concern do let me know i will try to answer over the comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you